So family planning is, there are permanent methods, there are temporary methods. Permanent methods, not allowed. I will give you some exceptions though. Temporary methods are allowed. A little detail into that. And this is not something that I am giving as an interpretation. You can look into islamqa.com and you will find all these fatawa over there by the authorities in the field. Mass campaigns not allowed. We cannot be part of a mass campaign that if there are 50 women sitting in front of me, so they all should go for that. I must tell them that they should go for the spacing or they should go for any temporary or permanent method. We cannot do that. Second important thing that we cannot do is when there is fear of provision. If someone comes to you and says, hum afford nahi kar sakte. You can delay it. You can tell them, increase your resources. But I have with experience seen your resources always expand the moment you conceive, the moment you have a baby. So fear of provision is not there for this matter for a believer. Third, when there is a spousal discord, either there is a conflict between husband and wife, one wants to have the planning, another doesn't want to have it, then the doctor needs to counsel and look into the actual root cause problem. Or sometimes when husband and wife from the start of the marriage are into conflict, and they want to delay having baby for a while because they say things are not settled between us. So the wife says, I don't want to conceive. I want to first get to know my husband better and see if I can even survive in this marriage. So yes, you can delay it a bit. Peer pressure is no reason that since Western cultures are doing it or since other people are doing it, people sound so ashamed to tell how many kids they have. I remember when I was having my fifth baby and I was invited to a gathering, uh, all the doctors and one or two doctors, they took me to a very well-known gynecologist and obstetrician. And we were standing and we were talking and they said, Ma'am, aap isko kuch samjhaen. And I said to her, why not? I'm educated. I send my kids to the best of the schools. I have a vision for my kids for deen and dunya. And my kids are going to be responsible citizens. And my kids are going to be educated and they are going to be very productive in this life. Why not? If I don't have a problem with that, why do you have problem? This is the confidence that we need for ourselves. travel fit Beta, agar Allah resources Allah so permanent stop is not allowed family complete beta or beta or family complete no we don't have a concept like that exceptions are you can use permanent methods when there is danger to mother's life and this advice has to come from a trustworthy Muslim doctor because every pregnancy is like you have danger but nowadays, sometimes women would come to me and say, I've been my fourth C-section, no, I want to have another one. And they ask me and I say, talk to your uh, gynecologist and obstetrician. Sometimes there is no, hardly any scarring. There are not many adhesions and they can do it. So I tell them, okay, carry on. And temporary methods, when there are strong concepts and there are temporary needs. So what is allowed? Spacing between kids are allowed. Physical and psychological health of the mother is very important. You can tell her, yes, sure, you can give spacing for five, six months, one year, two year. You know, keep coming back to me and then we'll decide. And when you are deciding for her, then you can use a technique which is not harmful for her. There are going to be cases where the pills would suit, some device would suit, coitus interruptus would suit. So you need to understand the patient who is there, the need, and then advise them accordingly. Because if you read about these methods, they will talk about ye bhi theek nahi, ye bhi theek nahi. Lekin sometimes, like I came across this young mother who had six kids. She had, I think, three or four cesareans. She was very young. 
and she had repeated pregnancies she was anemic she didn't want to have permanent method for herself but she obviously wanted to have spacing so what do i advise her if i just read about coil is not allowed pills are not allowed then this is not allowed what do i advise her and i'm not going for a mass campaign i'm not standing on a podium and advising all the women not to do that so i consulted some scholars and they said you advise her any of those methods which will suit her so that she can be healthy for another 3 4 years since you as professionals will come across many of such scenarios and if the sickness of the mother is very severe you can go for the permanent method she has such a disease that she cannot or some when we have sometimes cesareans even sometimes after the second cesarean you can come out and say that you have such massive adhesions you should not conceive or there is a repeated pregnancy with abnormalities and you feel they need to give space so they need to opt for a permanent method but i also still recall dr khalda wahid again a great gynecologist and obstetrician I remember we were in final year when we used to go to gynae ward she would give us long lectures on this that never adopt a permanent method for a female unless there is risk to her life and when we said kyu nahi madam to aurat hi safar kare aur mard apni zindagi guzar lete hain this and that and she used to tell us stories she said i actually see a woman jisko humne ye advise kiya tha permanent method there was some disaster in the family earth ke hua flood hua kuch hua sare bacche chale gaye husband ne chhod diya bacche leke chala gaya she got married again and she is not able to conceive she said though there are exceptions like that but please be very careful in choosing the permanent method so i was looking at this us aid this program for the mass family planning campaign we need to be clear on this It protects women and child health can we give them family planning advice for this reason yes or no protects women and child's health can we yes. abhi bhi soch rahe yes okay reduces hiv aids through prevention of new hiv infections and mother to child transmission can we yes. no because kyun ho raha hiv kyun ho raha वैसे तो हम देंगे लेकिन बाय लार्ज क्यू आई एम गोइंग टू द रूट कॉज सिमटोमेटिकली येस वी विल एडवाइज फैमिली प्लानिंग यूज ऑफ कॉन्डम्स वाई नॉट बिकॉज दिस इज बेसिकली रिलेटेड टू इमोडेस्टी दिस इज रिलेटेड टू ऑल दोज रिलेशनशिप विच आर हैपनिंग आउटसाइड मैरिज एंड वेन वी आर एडवाइजिंग दम फैमिली प्लानिंग थिंग तो हम क्या कर रहे हैं हम उनकी उस चीज को बढ़ा रहे हैं ओके डिक्रीज अबॉर्शन नो जस्ट टू डिक्रीज अबॉर्शन वो कहें कि जी आप फैमिली प्लानिंग यूज करें हमने अबॉर्शन की तरफ भी नहीं जाना हमने गलत काम के लिए फैमिली प्लानिंग को नहीं यूज करना वट अबाउट एडवांसेज इंडिविजुअल राइट टू डिसाइड देयर ओन फैमिली साइज नो इफ द फैमिली पर्सन सेज आई वॉन्ट टू डिसाइड माई फैमिली साइज नो यू कैन नॉट येस यू कैन कीप गिविंग स्पेसिस आप चार साल की स्पेस ले लें तीन साल की ले लें ताकि एक बच्चा एक मदर हेल्दी रहे ओके इम्प्रूव वुमेन्स अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर एजुकेशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड फुल पार्टिसिपेशन इन सोसाइटी कैन वी डिले प्रेगनेंसी फॉर दैट Yes, we can. There could be a medical student here who says, "I got married, but my final year is, my one year is, my two years is. I want to complete my studies. I want to like complete my internship, and then conceive." Yes, she can. Islam allows you that. But if you say, "I have to marry for 15 years until I become a consultant, I will not have a child. That would be wrong." Okay. Next, what is coming? Reduce poverty. Is it for this? No. Meditate the impact of population dynamics. on natural resources and state stability can we no so remember there is a dua in quran rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa zurriyyatina qurrata ayun wa ja'alna lil muttaqin imama the family is not a burden for us in islam family is coolness of our eyes look at all the infertile couples who come to us with all the psychological problems and they feel bad i come across ladies my age who say you took good decision having more babies when you were young we wish we also had more babies now we feel so lonely because we only have one or two kids subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh thank you very much for a very very good discussion very fruitful discussion so many questions
highlighted so many answers there. And as most of you have now rotated through your gynae ops station here in the gynae ops department, final year, all of you have done so, fourth year, apart from one batch, all of them, right? So you would see the counseling that we go for contraception in our department is exactly what has been propagated today. It is definitely not for the fear of provision. It is definitely not for that. It is actually health and health and health, whether it is physical health or it is psycho psychological health, mental health. So it is health and full stop. And it is birth spacing we are talking about. And you have so many times seen that we discourage women from permanent sterilization tubal ligation. Why? When we have lark, we have long acting reversible contraception. Why not go for that? So that Khudana Khasta has very uh, appropriately pointed out, koi disaster hota hai, koi baat hoti hai. They have their options open, right? So this is exactly what we propagate in our department as well, and this is what our students are learning as well. But yes, very rightly and appropriately and aptly highlighted and emphasized that birth spacing is not prohibited in Islam. Azal ke baare mein, min kaha gya, lam, lactational amenorrhea method, hum propagate pehle se hota tha, pehle ye devices nahi thi, ab ye devices aage, aur bahut inho ni correctly, logon ki bahut mix hai, IUCD jo hai, wo inappropriate device hai, aisi baat nahi hai, spacing ki jati hai, Islam ke principles ko saath rakhte gai, and the individualized approach, we believe in individualized health care, and this is true for contraception as well. And this is what we are doing. We do not propagate mass contraception. Her individual ki alag requirements hain aur usi tarah se kiya jata hai. Lekin ek cheez mein aapko bataun ke humare paas zada tar khawateen ho aati hain jinke miyaa unko force nahi karte contraception se. Khawateen kaisi hain mera miyaa nahi karna deta. Aap zara usko bhi bula ke counsel karein. Bache ko sambhalna doctor meri saans kuch jati hai. She is anemic. One after the other, she has one pregnancy, weaker in pregnancies. She's anemic. A patient has just a cardiac disease, a pulmonary hypertension. Hai. Obviously, sterilization will be the answer for her. Life saving, isn't that so? It's not only the cesarean, there are so many other medical disorders, right? So, what the child thought, what we are doing, what we practice, what we are doing, what we are doing, what we काम की प्रिंसिपल्स के साथ सपोर्ट किया मैं तो लेती भी जा रही थी तो जो आपकी आयतों में दो थे सारे रेफरेंसेस तो थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच